In this tutorial, we'll look at how to do some simple but very powerful edits to a few photos in Capture One. Now, most of the essential tools for working on your photos are either found in the Exposure Tool tab or in the Color Tool tab. So first of all, on this photo, I feel the white balance is a bit on the cool side. So I just raise up the Kelvin just to warm it up slightly, just like that. Now moving on to the Exposure Tool tab, I can see it's a little bit dark overall. So I'll bring up the exposure slightly. And to make the midtones a bit brighter, I'll just increase the brightness by a small amount too. Add a little bit more contrast. And I want the color tones a bit more muted, so I'll take the saturation down a small amount. Now this photo has some bright or dark areas that need some recovery. So in the High Dynamic Range tool, I'll bring the highlights down. That will just recover some of the detail in the window to the left and open up some detail in the shadows just by increasing the shadow slider. I want to make the very deepest blacks that little bit darker. So I use the black slider and that will just richen and darken those lower tones. But importantly, it won't clip those blacks. Finally, let's add a small amount of vignetting just to focus on the subject in the center. For this photo, I want to adjust some of the colors. So let's go to the color editor. It's here within the color tool tab. In the basic tab of the tool, I have nine ranges to choose from. Eight color ranges and one range covering the full spectrum. It can be used in a couple of different ways. You can either pick the range you want to edit here and then adjust the sliders. Note that the sliders are dynamic. So for example, you can see what the effect is going to be of changing the hue slider on colors and also saturation and lightness too. So for the red tones, if I want to desaturate a little, I can just pull down the saturation slider. Alternatively, if you're not sure which color range to pick, the direct color editor is very simple to use. Let's have a look at it on this photo. First of all, select it here and then click on the color that you want to edit. Momentarily, a cursor pops up indicating that you can drag horizontally or vertically. Dragging vertically will change the saturation. So if I simply drag down, then the correct colors are chosen in the basic color editor and my saturation will change. If I drag horizontally, that will affect the hue. So dragging to the left, you can see the hue change in the basic color editor too. Finally, to affect lightness, that just requires a modifier key. So if I hold down my Alt or Option key and drag vertically, that will change the lightness. The added benefit of the direct color editor is that it will automatically pick the best ranges to edit. So now very quickly, if I want to change the background paper too, I can just move over here, click, and I'm going to Alt drag just to reduce the lightness a little. If you want to be reminded what each direction changes, just right click. You can edit the preferences and also the sensitivity. For these photos, I want to make a nice black and white conversion. Let's enable the black and white tool. It's also found in the color tool tab. The brightness of the individual channels can be controlled like this for more control over your black and white conversion. Let's crop the image a tiny bit as well. When you're done cropping, switch to another cursor tool or just hit enter to commit. Let's also tweak the brightness and the contrast a little bit. So I'll just improve the contrast a little and brighten up the midtones as well. Now I want these settings synchronized across all the other photos. The fastest way is to use the global copy icon up here. Now the adjustments are copied to the clipboard. To apply them to the other photos, I just select them and click the apply icon. Per default, copying adjustments will not include compositional changes like the cropping and rotation. But let's assume I wanted the crop to be copied as well. For this, I'm going to use the copy function for individual tools. This is a highly useful trick that you can use for copying any adjustment from any tool 
to a sequence of photos. So follow along, it's very useful. Right now I have the photos selected that has been cropped. So if I go to the crop tool within the lens tool tab, there is a tiny double sided arrow. Let's click that and click copy. Now the crop is copied to the clipboard. Now my other photos are still selected so I can click apply like before. There is a shortcut for copying individual tools in one action. Let's reset the crop on the last three images. I can do that with the reset icon in the crop tool itself. Now if I shift select all the photos once more, hold shift down on my keyboard and click the double sided arrow, the crop will apply to the other selected photos instantly. As I said earlier, this approach can be used on any tool. So let's add a bit more contrast to the first photo and synchronize that setting to the other two in the same way. So shift click on the double sided arrow and the contrast is copied across. When adjusting, exporting or deleting multiple photos at a time, you need to make sure that the feature edit all selected variants is enabled. You can toggle that setting from this icon.